Wait, 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 wait. But Witch Doctor came out in, like, 2011. Why are we talking about him now? Well, guess what? This set still holds up. I think it's my favorite Hero Factory set, and I think there are plenty of reasons to be buying one today. So let's talk about this set, and let's talk about how you could use the pieces in Witch Doctor to build some of your own cool stuff. First off, Witch Doctor is a badass, tall and imposing figure with a sick skull mask. What more could you want? Let's have a brief overlook at some of the cool parts that you get in this set. You get two awesome skull masks, and honestly I think these are some of the nicer masks that we got in Hero Factory. You also get a good selection of Hero Factory bone pieces, sure they're pretty stock standard, but it's nice to get a really solid amount of them, and to get some in red as well. You also get some of these Quasar Spikes, which are really lovely pieces, and you don't really see people use them in mocks all that much, but they're really, really cool pieces, and they certainly could be used in mocks very well. You also get 28 hand connectors. That's a lot. That's pretty good. You also get 7 white chest armor parts. Pretty decent amount. 5 Hero Factory shields. Dang. 4 large tail spikes. Dang. Oh, and uh, the best part... 39 red ball joints. Dang, 39? This is the set that comes with the most ball joints. To put it in perspective, the set that features the second largest quantity of ball joints is Scorpio XV-1, and it only has 12 ball joints. This one has 39. 39! Ball joints are incredibly helpful for mocking. Let's take a look at some mocks that other builders have made to show you just how helpful they are. We have the Bignacle Frame by Solju Gakari. This channel has featured a whole bunch of different Bionicle Inspiration series episodes talking about frames. It's really helpful to build other people's frames or make your own frame and then just armor it up. You know, if you build a really solid good frame, it's kind of half the job, right? You can focus on the opposability, you get all these connection points in, and all the work's done. The fun part's detailing it. It's easy. And ball joints are really key for a good frame, especially this Bignacle frame, which is a very sort of famous, very well-used frame across the Bionicle community, and you need a few ball joints to make it. So having a good amount of them, very helpful for building your frames. You could also build something similar to this mock by Poor Disadvantaged here, uh, which is a solar-powered gentle lady. Uh, and he's made this fantastic looking sword design here by combining ball joints with these Ninjago mask pieces here to give it this fantastic looking hilt design. So another great place to get some ball joints to do something just like that. Or finally, you could just use ball joints just in general to build whatever kind of mock you want to make. Here's a mock by Mitch Henry and this is called Vox T Shaman. And uh, we can see here just how many ball joints this mock is using. It needs a good whack of them to achieve the posability that it needs and to achieve the unique look that this fantastic mock has. So ball joints are pretty helpful. And getting 39 of them? Dang. Let's look at some mocks that use some of the other pieces in this set. We've got a mock here by Radar, and this is Memento Mori. So a really cool skull mask, may as well use it for some actual skeletons. And it's such a good skull mask too, we can see it here being used in such a beautiful, beautiful way. Perfect for any kind of Grim Reaper skeleton or other kind of Halloween themed mock. Another mock that uses this mask in a very clever way is by my friend Cody G, and this mock is called Mirage. I apologize if these pictures aren't the highest quality. I had to get these from the old Wayback Time Machine on mock pages, and it doesn't produce the highest of quality images, but you still get the idea. He's inverted this mask, sort of flipped it on its side here, and it creates such a cool-looking alternate mask there, especially in this edited picture here. It looks very, very cool. So really cool to see that you can get a lot of uses out of that mask depending on the way you place it. This next mock is by Jafer, and it's called Voidwalker, and it uses a whole bunch of different Hero Factory bones and Hero Factory shells. Sure, it uses them in some different colors, and it maybe only actually uses one of the specific Hero Factory shell pieces that comes in this set, but I think this is just a lovely example of what you can do when you have a lot of Hero Factory shell pieces, which this set comes with a whole bunch of them, and also what you can do with a lot of bone pieces, which again, this set comes with a lot of them, so lovely to see a great example that just really shines by purely just sort of using basically just those pieces, and you get a good whack of them in Witch Doctor. So you could do something fairly similar to this, but probably a little different, the pieces are subtly different here. 
And last mock, then we'll get back to talking about Witch Doctor. This mask here uses a whole bunch of pieces from the set and makes a fantastic alternate build. It's sort of like a cool little cosplay face mask here, this really nice looking skull design here that uses basically just pieces from Witch Doctor. So really nice to know that, hey, Witch Doctor's a larger set, comes with a lot of pieces. If you bought one or two, you might be able to do something very, very similar to this. Maybe combine it with some of the other pieces in your collection and you too could create a really, really cool face mask of sorts or maybe some other kind of cosplay stuff like a glove or a boot. I don't know, it's up to your imagination. So whether you're adding in some additional articulation, you're building a frame, or you're just looking to make some kind of cool looking mock, there's a lot of good uses for these pieces. And all in all, I think there's a lot of really just helpful parts in this set. It's kind of just a really nice parts pack. Good set, good pieces, everything rolled into one. Now let's talk about the crazy posability in this thing. The arms and the legs have this incredibly sturdy and unique design that allows for some really solid movement. Watch this. You can see here with the legs that we can easily move it forward and back, as well as side to side. And while it's doing this, it's able to support actually a pretty decent amount of weight. So good posability and it can hold up weight. Fantastic design in my eyes. The arms are the same as well, back and front and side to side. It's so cool. It is a bit more of a ball joint heavy design, but it's really satisfying to see how sturdy and just kind of cool it looks. In fact, this design was so cool that when this set originally came out, my friend Brendan, otherwise known as Shadow Gear 6335, built a Titan Dragon mock using this waist design from Witch Doctor. Here are some photos of that Blood Skull Dragon here. Now, again, they may not be the best quality images because I had to get these from mock pages, but still, you get the idea. So Brendan loved this design so much because it was sturdy and strong and capable of holding up a lot of weight, but also allowed it to have a lot of posability. And when you're building a Titan or any kind of large scale mock, that's really important to have. And you know what? This was such a cool design that I myself actually used it on one of my own Titan dragons, which was very heavily inspired by Brendan's mock. Uh, I called it the Banana Dragon because it did use some little banana greeble pieces in there. And sure, this is a bit of an older mock from me here, and I'd probably build it very differently today. But what's really cool is that, you know, I was inspired by Shadow Gear. We, you know, I built this mock as a result and kind of just, you know, playing off of each other's builds in this sense. And there's no reason this sort of thing couldn't be done today as well. If you like this waist design and you like the idea of building a dragon with it or anything with it, you could very easily make it yourself and continue that legacy today, you know? But again, it was really helpful to build with that specific frame because I was able to just pile on all sorts of different pieces and it was still really poseable and really, really sturdy. So I could kind of just shove whatever I wanted on top of this sort of waist design here and I never had to worry about whether or not it was going to hold up itself, support itself, whatever. It just did. And look, I think it's a fantastic waist design. It's cool to see all the different ways that it can be used and it's so poseable and great. I just I can't speak highly enough of it. Also, just the overall look of Witch Doctor is great. There's a lot of awesome skeleton spikes in this sort of rib cage, and there's cool voodoo stuff as well. And uh, by the way, fun fact about this cool voodoo stuff if you tilt the little quasar spikes at the top just sort of slightly, it kind of looks like a donkey head. <coughs> Honestly, I think Witch Doctor is an incredible, awesome looking set. And there's so many creative possibilities you can play around with, with not only the frame, but all the different pieces that come in the set as well. A lot of potential for mocking here. So whether you get this set for parts, or you want to build off of the frame, or you just want it as a really cool looking display piece, I think it's worth it. And it's not all that expensive on Bricklink. I picked up mine for 80 Australian dollar dues, so not too, too bad. So go buy one. Heck. By two. And that's my review of Witch Doctor. Might have some more coming out soon on other different Hero Factory sets, so stay tuned. Happy building, and bye for now.